Hi, this is the Phoenix from Phoenix Rise and Tarot here to do another weekly update for the sign of Taurus. Just keep in mind these are general readings, they're not going to resonate with all of you, but for the ones that it does resonate with, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. <clears throat> for those of you interested in a personal reading with me, all the information will be in the description box below. This is going to be for the Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs of Taurus. Let's jump into this reading and see what messages will come true for you guys this week. Messages to the sign of Taurus, Spirit. Alright, so we have the initiation, rite of passage, crossing the threshold. So, for some of you, you are definitely being initiated into something this week. Could be a group, could be friendship, could be a relationship for some of you. You're finally getting a yes to a question that has been on your mind or on someone's mind. So we have boundaries. Where do you need to establish better boundaries? We have dance with life. Do something to change your energy. We have no. Wait, postpone, pause, say no. And keepers of the earth, you are not alone. Ancient ancestors stand beside you. So you have angel guides this week that are definitely on your side. You need to set better boundaries. And know that something good is definitely coming towards you this week. Alright, so let's jump into the tarot now and see what comes true for you guys. Messages for the sign of Taurus. Okay, so you're waiting for your ships to come in. You want something new. So you're looking to the horizon for something new. Probably has to do with the Aries, Leo or Sag. But you have finally given up on trying to figure out something. Trying to make a decision or... For some of you, you have made a decision to walk away. I think that is what this no is about. Some of you need to say no to someone and walk away from a situation or a person. For us, it's person of interest. <clears throat> now, your person of interest wants... A new beginning and passion. They see fertility with you. They see new beginnings with you. And this is causing them anxiety because you have already walked away. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn you're dealing with, or Aries, Leo, or Sag. You gotta have these placements in your chart if you're not connecting to anybody at this point in time. We have Libra and we have Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. So we have three feminine energy showing up here. For some of you, you may have a choice. Yep, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Two of Wands. You may not know which part you really want to take. At this point in time but you have three options of which to choose from all right so 
you are waiting for something to come in something new something that you may be able to control in a way that you would like you have made a decision for some of you to walk away from the past walk away from a past person walk away from something that is not serving you the person on the other hand is seeing growth with you is seeing good potential is seeing that things can get better that being with you they can follow their own passions because you probably ignite that in them but they are having anxiety about for some of you this person could be married um they could be having anxiety about having an option between three people or having anxiety that things are not going to come into balance for them where they can offer their couple love or they are scared that the person they really want to go towards is not going to accept what it is they're offering all right so let's clarify further the three of wands okay so we have the queen of cups so you're probably waiting for what's a sign to come towards you scorpio pisces cancer or you're waiting for someone to offer their cup of love to you for you and this person to have a brand new stable beginning to have a fresh start Okay, so we have the star card, maybe an Aquarius you're dealing with. You may be communicating with an Aquarius, a new energy, someone new. Uh, but you see this person as your wish fulfillment. You see this person as a very calming energy where you can be yourself with them. I think you may be, for some of you, communicating with someone this week. For some of you, it could be a new fire sign coming in to you. But you are not going to be accepting what it is this person is offering to you. Because you're bored with the whole situation. You're trying to figure out probably a third party situation. And you are trying to basically find yourself in this There may have been some lies and deception happening on the part of your partner, maybe. And you have decided to just leave it all alone. Drop all the balls. Don't even think of fighting for this connection. And to just walk away. Because this person may have deceived you in some way, may have lied to you. Yeah. You regret... For some of you, you regret being with this person. You regret spending your time with them. You regret... ever meeting them for some of you. So when you walked away, you decided not to work on this connection. And you embodied the energy of the King of Swords. Where you decided to make decisions with your head over your heart look for information before making decisions cutting out what no longer serves you and you may have come across very cold to this person that you were in this connection with some of you could be a virgo you're dealing with but you went within to find the answers that you were looking for or they went within searching for the answers as to why you would have changed this much in a short space of time and they may have figured out that you had more emotions for them than you were letting on what is causing anxiety for this person right now is the realization that you did actually love them and you cared for them 
and they felt the same way you felt the same way but nobody communicated that to each other so this person wants to rush into you and offer you some type of passion or it could be you rushing into them to offer some type of passion for some of you that this that you are married you would be rushing towards someone or rushing away from someone to have clarity in a situation because you don't want to work on something with a libra because you always have to be defensive with them you're not finding balance you can't seem to build a connection with this person and in terms of the water sign this person doesn't even realize you exist because they were the one that ghosted you yeah okay so that is what i have for you guys i hope that helped so it's only the taurus virgo capricorn that may not be so stable or act like they don't care at this point in time that you are ready to rush into or for some of you you're trying to fix your own self and find your own clarity Alright, so this is what I have for you guys. I hope it helps. Have a good one.